Hey, hey everyone, it's Tony from Lebec here. Uh, today I wanted to create a quick video to show you how you can create custom audiences in your Facebook ads account because these are going to be super important when you're running ads and when you're doing ads on Facebook. So the reasoning why you want to have custom audiences is that primarily you want to have some of your customers actually excluded from your ads uh, since you're advertising for e-commerce that's usually going to be all of your previous purchasers or just purchasers from the last six months that you want to exclude from your ads because Facebook's Facebook ads is actually a very expensive option to get customers but you need to use it because we're seeing awesome results from uh, a lot of our customers with our app on Shopify uh, but what you want to do is you don't you want to make sure that you're not advertising to your existing customers because there are cheaper ways to actually reacquire those and get them to make another purchase from your store so I'm gonna show you how you can create custom audiences on your Facebook ads account and then in later videos uh, which I'm gonna be linking down below you're gonna be able to actually see how how to properly exclude them from your ads. Now let's get started and I'm just gonna make myself smaller here and what you want to do is you want to be in your audience manager on Facebook ads. So when you're in your business manager you can actually get to that by clicking on this little hamburger icon here and make sure that you're in the audiences section. So once you're here you're gonna have an option to create an audience. So I'm assuming that you already have a pixel set up if you don't, you're going to be able to find our videos on how to set up a Facebook pixel. But since you do have a Facebook pixel uh, already, probably, you can go on to the Create Audience tab and just go with Custom Audience. And now what your source is going to be, it's going to be your website. So this means that we're going to be using the pixel to actually create our audience. But what you can also do is you can upload a uh, customer list or you can use other sources as well. The simplest one and the one that you want to uh, start using uh, first is usually going to be the website. So your pixel being the source. Now I'm going to click next. I'm going to have my pixel selected here. So it's the Lebeg WordPress pixel that we're using on our site. And this tutorial is going to be a bit different because uh, we don't have the uh, purchases as an event. But let me just show you how you can go, go about and see the audiences that you need to have selected. So one of the audiences is always going to be all of your website visitors. And what I like to do here is I like to have the retention period set up to 180 days. So the last this is the last six months of people who have been on my website and the pixel actually knowing them and then it's just to see so you have all website visitors retention period 180 days and then let's just name the audience website visitors 180 uh, what you can also do is you can add a short description but with my audience names I like to be really descriptive in them so website visitors 180 uh, we could go pixel based like this just so you know what you're excluding and what you're using in your ads once you're done here you just need to create your audience and Facebook's gonna get onto that and just create your audience uh, the second audience that you need to have created uh, is usually website purchasers so I'm gonna go again with website click next and since I don't have the purchase event in our pixel, I'm just going to use the complete registration. But if you're an e-commerce store, you want to use purchase as an event. And what you want to do here is you want to exclude all of your purchasers from Facebook ads, both on prospecting campaigns and on retargeting campaigns, because like I've mentioned, you don't want to be uh, advertising to your existing customers via Facebook. There are cheaper channels, so you can use emails, you can use text messages, you can use... Uh, organic posts if they're your followers on Facebook and Instagram so you want to be excluding all of the purchasers and you can just go with 180 days retention again and I'm gonna go website purchase purchasers uh, 180 180 and pixel based just so I know what I'm excluding in my ads once I'm done here, I'm just going to create my audience and that's going to be it. So it is going to take some time for Facebook to populate these audiences, but once you have them created in your custom audiences list, you're going to be able to use them in your advertising. And uh, in later videos, I'm going to show you how you can how you can do that exactly. So you're going to find the links to other videos below in the description. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to us here on YouTube or you can reach out to us directly on the chat on our website. So it's lebeg.io. And if you like this video, like, share and subscribe for more updates from us in the future. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.